Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about one important issue when it comes to cactus care, and that is uh, root melee bug. Uh, we're going to be going over what root melee bug is, how to spot it, and then how to treat root melee bug if all other pesticides and insecticides don't work. So before the video starts, we are going to be talking a lot about melee bug, and just a quick description of what a melee bug is. It's a small type, uh, whitish type bug uh, that lives on plants, and for the root melee bug, it lives underneath the plants. Similar to aphids, it eats the plants and eats away, so this is why you would not want them on your plants. Uh, and they look like this. Root melee bug is often found in peat-based soils that are hard to re-wet, uh, and that's why pesticides are hard to kill. Commercial growers often have access to pesticides that amateur growers do not have, which makes uh, melee bugs actually even harder to kill because a lot of the store-bought pesticides will not work. So you have to end up making your own type of solutions. Uh, as we can see here, here are two plants bought at the same time about nine months ago. Uh, this one right here on the left uh, luckily did not catch root melee bug. Unfortunately, right here this one did. So a good sign uh, to look at if you want to know if your plant has root melee bug. As you can see, the one on the right is a lot more shrunken in. It looks a lot more uh, hollow almost, uh, less uh, filled. Uh, the one on the left looks significantly better. But as you can see, it's decoloring down here at the bottom. Uh, but ultimately, if, uh, if you do want to know if it is root mealy bug, you would have to depot the plant and look it at the roots, as we'll see next. So we've been talking a lot about root mealy bug, but uh, so now we're actually going to show what actually one would look like, because uh, they are very hard to find. Uh, they do occur on naturally on the roots, so you won't really see it on top of the plant. Uh, and you are going to need probably tweezers and a little magnifying glass like this to uh, fully extract one. But as you can see. Yeah, he's still moving. That right there. That's a big one. Oh wow, yeah, you can see the little legs move around. It's like an aphid. And, and so- and this is after soaking this thing in bleach. And it's still alive? Yeah, the waxy coating protects it. Oh, okay, so but then the nicotine solution will eventually- Let me nurse you, but one is gonna send you bugs once in a while. It's just what, how they do it. Mm -hmm. So that's, if, why, that's why I grow a lot of seeds because I one time had a collection almost completely wiped out by root mealy bug 30 years ago. Almost went, I took all the roots off the cactus. I replanted them. I started using diatomaceous earth. They still kind of came back. And it wasn't until I started this new pesticide soap that I actually got a handle on the stupid things. Mm -hmm. This is like a product you can buy. Mm -hmm. It's ground up forest products. Okay. And it's really good for plants. And the root mealy bug will run wild in this stuff. Really? So this is where it comes from the store and it has a ton already in it? No, there's no mealy bug in it, but but there's nothing to discourage them. It's got a really good cation exchange ratio. It's great, but like I said, the mealy bugs will just run wild in it in the cactus roots. So you take this and you mix it. With diatomaceous earth? And then it ends up getting kind of gray. And then I put uh, pumice and rocks in there too for oh, better okay. drainage. But that it's kind of and it's dusty. See that dusty? So yeah. that's the only downfall. So you yeah, swear your hands get a little dusty. But when it's wet and it's in the in the plant, it doesn't really bother you. Okay. So yeah, that's the danger of using that stuff straight. I mean, if you can keep mealy bugs out of your collection, go for it. But uh, and what's this stuff called? I just bought it at the store. It's just some sort of. It's just not Miracle Grow. So okay. This stuff's garbage. But it's Uni Grow. Or it's just it's one. When you buy it, just make sure it doesn't have. Um, recycled food waste or, or recycled products because i just threw a cactus full of mini bug into a, a recycling bin and if they recycled it who knows maybe you'll end up with more melee bugs so it, yeah, yeah that's a recycled forest products and peat moss okay and no chicken manure no earthworm case you don't need that for a potted cactus and that you can mix that and then it will end up uh like that with stones and pumice i like pumice stones and pumice and uh, the diatomaceous earth, and uh, you know, you still get mealy bugs, but not as many. There are many pesticides that are available that do say they combat uh, mealy bug and root mealy bug. We have found that this uh, solution that we make ourselves does work the best. Uh, it's really simple. All you're really gonna need is a bucket, a type from Home Depot, uh, boiling water, uh, soap, a cigar, and then a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and then some rubber gloves, and then we'll have the instruction list of the materials we'll need uh, right next and then how to make it.
So this is the cactus right here. This is a thylo cactus? Echino cactus texensis. It's a real, totally wrong. <laughs> horse cripple, but you can see the mealy bug in there. The white. Um, yeah, they went crazy. I don't think I can save it, but I want to. I want to get the other one. Yeah, you can see it in there. I, I soaked it in bleach overnight, but eh, these mealy bugs are. Once they get like this, it's. And it's those white spots within the cactus right there. Yeah. Yeah. On the roots. They That's. Just, they just took it out. Look at the top. It's all tweaked. I should have got to it quicker, but yeah. So. But we're going to try to salvage this right now. So for what we do, um, and this is a cigar, right? Uh, yep. Kind and of, Kind of a good one. Kind of a waste of a good cigar, but I don't smoke, and it, nicotine is poisonous, so. So it's good at killing things like melee bugs, and uh, mainly melee bugs, or other type of bugs? This, they tell me this is uh, nicotine, uh, nicotine sulfate that will kill um, as poisonous to all animal life. Uh, so don't drink it. But uh, plants are not uh, animal life, they're plant life. And the reason there's nicotine in the plant is to keep it from being eaten by bugs and other things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shred it up. Got some soap too, just and regular old soap. Dish soap or just bar soap? Yeah, you probably don't need all the perfumes. Just pure as soap as you can get. And we're gonna put boiling water in here. We're gonna let it soak overnight. And then we're going to bottom soak one of uh, two cactuses that I bought. And one of them went down with root mealy bug, terrible infestation. The other one it looks okay, but I'm... Suspicious. Okay, so after we have crushed up our cigar and our soap, we are putting in boiling water. And how much how much water is that? It's um, like... This is as much as this tea. tea uh, however much a kettle holds, so it doesn't really matter about a specific amount. I don't know. Like I've never... I've never um, figured that out yet oh, okay but the main the main ingredient is just the uh the cigar and the oh that's the steam uh so why does that have to be boiling it'll um extract the nicotine out of the um cigar and melt the soap oh okay it's oh yeah you can smell that yeah yeah it smells like a bar like sunday morning after a bad <laughs> people are putting their cigarettes out in beer cans okay and so it, now we're just gonna let this all dissolve do you mix it around at all or just let it sit uh Actually, eventually, I'd say the heat is just going to dissolve the nicotine and the soap. Yeah, I used to make great, huge batches that were much bigger than this. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have to, tomorrow when it's cool, don't put your cactus in boiling water. No. It's, yeah, it looks like the surface of Venus. Look at that. That's the way it looks. It gets all funky. But um, we'll strain it. And then we'll add rubbing alcohol to it. Because it rubbing alcohol just boil off now. And then we'll bottom water that one cactus that may have root mini bug. I don't, I don't know. You don't screw around with root mini bug and uh, this will kill it. Okay. The only draw down is it's smelly. Yeah, that's about it, but we're not gonna really be outside that much. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, this is okay. Now. Okay, so we've been letting this solution sit for about, what, like four hours, five hours? Yeah. Fahrenheit, what is that? 80? Let me see. Yeah, it's like 80 degrees. Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay, it's a little warm. Okay, so then... Strain it. Here is the solution, the mix. Looks a little like sludge water now. So now you're just straining it out to get all the uh, cigarettes um, parts out. Uh. And now, why don't you want that part in there? The, uh... Just make some mess. Oh, okay. So then you have a, the clear liquid solution. Sort of clear. Well, yeah. Okay. Now, a little rubbing alcohol. Go ahead. Pop. Okay, so now you're just going to add 70% rubbing alcohol to the solution? A little bit, yeah. And this is just stuff that you buy over the counter? Uh-huh. And about how much do you usually put in? Not that much. Oh, okay, so just like a little bit less than... Um... It was like that much. Okay. And now do you stir or just let it sit? I'm just going to let it sit. And um, this is the one that might have root movie bug. I don't know. Okay, and you just let it soak in from the roots? Yep. Okay, and then how long are you going to let this soak for? Overnight. 
Okay, so yeah, we'll be back uh, in the morning. That creamy soda is nice. All right, so this is the uh, next day after letting it soak in for at least two hours. And so as we can see, uh, let me see if I can get a good one. Those are the melee bugs, the ones that were squirming around before. They are now completely killed off by the mixture, the solution. And this is the, uh, the plant that was infested with it. So we're going to repot this and we're going to hopefully see if this can um, grow back. Got to wash it out now. Now that they're dead, I'll wash it out and then I'll try to reroot it. Yeah, and uh, we'll uh, definitely see how it reroots. Might take, Might take what, a year, a year, month, uh, yeah, what a month, uh, a year or longer. But yeah, so that's how you definitely get rid of infested root melee bugs on plants. They had a bad infestation. You can see it has all this way deep inside. It has all this babies. Oh, baby melee bugs. Yeah, but they're dead too. So that solution just kills up all that and it kills the eggs too. Hopefully, it uh, the bleach didn't, and the M. Dopachloropene didn't. Yeah, see, the problem is that I didn't get all the peat out of it when I bought it. Yeah, and that's where they that's, that's where they live and, and come and, from. And peat won't re-wet, so they just they didn't have any. I took all the soil, most of the soil off, but all it takes is a little bit. Yeah, there's a little baby one right there. See, uh, let me just focus it in. There's millions of them. Oh, that's way too small. It's... Okay. But that's, that's why, here's another one here. Is this one dead? Yeah. Yep. Fuckers. All right. So yeah, now we just have to reroute it up and let it what it heal? It should grow new roots. You can see where I cut it after I bought it, but it was deep in here is, is where it, just one or two got away. And it just starts sucking and making it look deformed on yeah, the sides. Yeah, that's, that's why it looks all skinny. It had flowered and fruited, but still it was in bad shape. So I think we can save it. Okay. That's the danger of buying plants from the Okay. Nature. So now afterwards, you're just gonna rinse it out and rinse out all the... Uh... Try to get most of them out of there. Now, is it bad to leave them in there, in the plant afterwards? Or I just... don't want them anywhere near it. This is what I should have done when I first bought it. Oh, rinse out the plant? So it was taking it right down to like nothing. And this would probably wouldn't have happened. Yeah, so hopefully that uh, washed out all the root melee bugs. All the dead ones. And yeah, and see the there's eggs. a little bit of peat there. I'm gonna try to get that next. And I do it in a bucket because I'm not gonna dispose of, don't do this over your lawn. No, because then one... you have root melee bugs all on your lawn. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's one right there. That'll... That white thing. Fuckers. Still alive again. Uh, I hope he's still alive. I'll inspect him numerous times before I reroute him, but probably have to trim this again. But yeah, now he's pretty clean. See how it sucked in? A lot of damage was uh, done. This thing was dying. But um, he should recuperate. We'll put him on, we'll show you how to pot him up later. And uh, he should recuperate. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, and I don't know if they're floating around in here. This looks like a bunch of mess. Dirt. So this I'm going to dispose of um, safely. Okay. Just like, washed off. This is supposed to kill. Last time I tried it, it didn't kill them. As you saw, they were still alive. So we had to go to the nicotine sulfate. Mm -hmm. But hope springs eternal. There. But these would probably already be dead, though. From yeah, I want to make sure they're double dead. Don't screw around with root mini bugs. Okay. I said it like more than once. Because if they get loose in your collection, you're in big trouble. So this is the other stuff we use. I'm dot chloropene, but it comes in a type of bottle like this. Uh, but truth is, it's just not as effective. Maybe they're just immune to it or something, but... 
just not the best, I would say. The mealy bug, a passive way, is you can mix some of this stuff. By tomato earth? Yeah, use the food grade. It's got uh, less danger to your lungs. You can mix this into your, to your soil and uh, it, it discourages the mealy bug. It, you can find this at a farm store that uses this to, uh, on chickens and stuff. Ground freshwater diatomaceous earth. And uh, you mix it in, it gives it a gray sort of uh, color. Okay. And uh, it discourages root mealy bug. It doesn't, it doesn't get rid of them entirely. But it's a good prevention type. It's just uh, another way to keep those critters without having to resort to all kinds of chemicals. It sort of looks like that. Okay, so it's like a powdery chalky type yeah, substance. Yeah, microscopically, it's tiny little um, sharp pieces of uh, dead sea creatures, diatoms. Okay. And it cuts their, their skin because they have a waxy coating that you can't get through it. Mm -hmm. It makes them sort of waterproof. That's why the pesticides don't always work. That's why we're going to add alcohol to our mix when we're done. But this will cut into that coating. It'd be like if, if you were wading around in a pool of little glass shards. Oh, okay. And then how much do you usually mix in with, let's say, a soil or a type of dirt? Like a maybe, one scoop? Maybe 2 to 5%. I've done higher amounts, but I don't really know exactly mm -hmm. what's the best dose. Yeah. But um, And wear a mask because... um. It is. You don't want to breathe in. It's very dusty. Oh, okay. But yeah, this this will help with the insect pest. It helps against that fly too, that mushroom gnat. Okay. So I use that, and then the soil becomes sort of gray. And I'm done with it. And oh, okay, and that's been cut with diatomaceous earth. Yeah, that's why it's got that gray color to it. Oh, okay. See how it looks kind of gray. And this isn't harmful to plants at all. No. Okay. Nope. Nope. So I find it might help a little bit.